In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to self-study cybersecurity. I'm going to show you the techniques and tactics that I used to learn cybersecurity fast when I was first entering the field. Learning new skills at the start of any career journey can be tricky, especially when doing it with cybersecurity as it's such a competitive field that can get quite expensive when you're trying to learn different types of skills and do different types of certifications. This video will hopefully help any of you, whether that's going from a complete beginner that's never done any cybersecurity before, or someone who's in cybersecurity but just stuck on how to advance their skills further. I've split the video into four different sections, as you'll see by the timestamps down below, and you'll need to review each section, which will help you along your journey. So starting off with point number one, I want you to first understand the objective. And what we mean by this is making sure you know exactly what you want to achieve. So make sure you understand the cybersecurity field in depth. You know what roles are available and you know when you see those roles what skills are needed for each role as you might not understand exactly what each one involves at the beginning but at least you'll be aware of which roles there are and which ones you're potentially interested in as that will help with the next point that I want to make here for point number one which is to make sure you define a learning goal. Because then once you pick a few careers that you're interested in within cyber security such as penetration testing or as a network analyst you can then sit down and say, okay, these are exactly the skills that I need to make sure I get to the right path in the end. Let's use a real life example. So you can say that you want to get into networking. You'll then need to know how firewalls and intrusion detection systems work. You'll need to know how virtual private networks work and how they function. Or if you want to get into ethical hacking, you should be familiar with the basics of ethical hacking and how to use various cybersecurity tools, such as Nmap, Wireshark, Kali Linux, and how to defend against threats. So you'll know exactly what roles you there are and you'll know what skills you need to achieve those roles. That's then helped you understand an objective and define a specific learning goal. And just to finish this point off, this is the point where you need to be really honest with yourself and look at your current knowledge and skills because when you write these down, you'll need to identify what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are, just so you know exact starting point for your self-study journey because there's no point learning the things you already know because then you'll spend too much time focusing on them because they're your strong areas and that's what you subconsciously do rather than focusing on your weak areas so it's something you want to constantly track and make sure you're on top of now let's move on to point two because once you've done all that you'll want to start focusing on your revision techniques as this is probably one of the most important concepts of the whole self-study journey if you're not doing this bit right then none of it will work so let's look at revision techniques you want to look at both active and passive ways of revising and what i mean by that is passive can be reading or watching videos whereas active is actively writing down things so see which one works best for you and focus on that if you prefer watching videos and making notes at the same time, then that's fine. Go ahead and do that. Just try to understand this at the beginning of your journey, as you don't want to be six months into revision and realize none of it's going in your head, as that's a lot of time wasted. And time is the key essence of learning cybersecurity fast. Things are constantly changing. You don't want to be going through material for a year only just to realize that that threat has changed or the way things in cybersecurity have changed. So you need to relearn. So it's very important to grasp your revision technique at the beginning. One of the ways that I found it really worked for me was watching videos and then reading the notes and summarizing it in words that made sense to me in bullet point form. So even though it was essentially rewriting it, that's how it stayed in my head and I found it the best. So it's best to look at the revision material and see how the best can you summarize that so it makes sense in your head as you're the one that's going to need to replay that information when taking the exam or in the job. Try to introduce something called spaced repetition. What that means is introducing a concept of where you basically review and revisit the material that you've already learned a couple of months ago or a couple of weeks ago. That's because something that you revised three weeks ago is not as fresh as something you revised two days ago. So you're constantly going over the material and making sure you're familiar with it. That then nicely leads on to our next point about what exactly we should use to revise and where we can look for the best sorts of material. At the beginning stage of your career, you'll want to find low cost or basically free resources that you can use to start learning straight away. So I've gathered some of the best tools that I found over my time that I've used that you can use too to enhance your skills. 
Good resources can come in various forms, like online courses, textbooks, video tutorials, blogs, forums, or even hands-on labs when you're talking about cybersecurity. So you'll want to do a variety of these to get a well-rounded learning experience. You don't want to just learn from textbooks, you'll also want to do some hands-on labs so you have some practical experience. It all just comes down to linking everything together that we've talked about so far, so seeing what skills you need and how exactly it's best to get them. So the tool we'll talk about first is Udemy. Udemy is an online and teaching marketplace with so many courses it's unbelievable. I'm not sponsored by them but I just think it's a great tool to use for free and low cost content. I've pasted some good links down in the description below so if you're interested then do click but also just go on there and take a browse There's some really good courses for learning cybersecurity. Next up we then have Hack the Box. This is a relatively new one to the cybersecurity teaching landscape and honestly it's one of my favourites at the moment and I always recommend it to students or people wanting to learn cybersecurity. It's essentially a gamified cybersecurity upskilling platform and the best part is it has paid for versions which are a subscription tier or you can also have a free version where you have specific challenges. Obviously with the paid for versions you get slightly more complex challenges but it's really good for learning in the beginning. And the best part is they have different courses depending on what type of job role you want to go into. So as you can see here, they have one for the SOC analyst, which I've linked down in the description below with eight different domains, 15 modules, preparing you specifically to become a SOC analyst. So you'll learn things like instant response, threat hunting, and understanding different log sources. Great way to start learning cybersecurity. So definitely do check that out, even just if you want to take a breeze over it and just have a read. Like I said at the beginning, it's all down to what works best for you as there's pros and cons of different resource types. Just like online courses can offer you a structured learning paths, whereas forums and blogs can provide more of a community support where you answer real world insights and questions. So it's all best placed in terms of how it works for you. Now going on to the final point that I want to make, which is point four, is all about documenting your progress along your journey. What I mean by this is making sure you know where you were at at the start and as you're learning you're constantly reflecting, making sure you know what you found challenging, you know what you've worked on really well and you know how far along this journey you are, whether you're 50% the way through and ready to sit a certification or you're more towards 10%. That means you can effectively manage your time and you'll know exactly where you're at. You don't want to plan for an exam in six months and have it booked and then five months in you're only 20% way through the content. So it's always key to make sure you're tracking exactly what you're getting up to and identifying areas for improvement constantly. This will ensure you stay motivated and you know exactly where you are to achieving your goal. As without motivation and the ambition throughout this learning journey, it can get really difficult and it will put you off the learning altogether. So hopefully you found that really useful and you've learned loads of tips and techniques. If you're looking to get started in cybersecurity, I have a link to a get started guide and there is also the link to my discord, which loads of us talk about cybersecurity and we just discuss and help each other on different topics. So do check that out.